Madam President, in 2019 to 2020, following growing diplomatic pressure from the FATF and seemingly not driven by a genuine attempt to combat terrorism, Pakistan arrested Hafi Saeed and Zakir Iman Lakhvi, two UN designated terrorists. These sham arrests exemplify Pakistan's double edged approach towards terrorist activities. Terrorism is patronized when strategically useful, but opposed when it targets Pakistani interests. This is most apparent in Afghanistan, where Pakistan will now have to adapt to at least partially Taliban led government. An end to violence is unlikely to materialize with the peace agreement. Rather, the US Taliban deal has shifted the focus towards Pakistan as a safe haven for even more terrorists and terrorist organizations. The regained strength of the Pakistani Taliban and recent attacks by ISKP and Pakistan illustrate this. The current situation is a natural outcome of the well-oiled infrastructure for terror created over decades by the Pakistani army and its intelligence agencies, and Islamabad's consistent distinction between good and bad terrorists. To be clear, the strategy has yielded no benefits for the political and economic well-being of Pakistan and the wider region. Until the Pakistani army abandons this deeply entrenched way of operating, however, this situation will not change. Madam President. Terrorism inherently undermines the promotion and protection of human rights. I urge the Council to hold Islamabad accountable for failing to live up to its legal and moral obligations towards its own people and the international community. Thank you.